This week in the world of news from books, beards, and brews. All right. As always, I am Bob of Tales by Bob. I'm the Ask the Podcast, Derek. I am creative consultant, Tanya. More like hungover consultant, Tanya. I was going to pretend and have them not know that. Way to put her business in the streets. I know. Well, I I'm, was, I'm tired. You, I'm tired, Bob. If I'm, y'all could physically have seen that transition, y'all, I'm here with my eyes closed in the comfortablest clothes imaginable, half dead. But I turned it on. You did. For, I was really impressed. I yeah. Was, and and then, I was just going to fake it, man. Yeah, fake it till you make it. But, uh, but no, now they all know. Yeah. I so now she's phoning this shit. Well, no, Yikes, I got y'all. to, I got, I got to watch her fall out of a hammock last Oof. night. So it was. You know what? Before we get involved with anything, you got stories from the because uh, uh, from last night. Yeah, the I, only story that I really got... matters. So I had my housewarming party last night. The only story that matters is how it ended. It's three o'clock in the morning. I go to my. I was like, why is my bedroom door closed? Oh yeah. And I open it like lights on, but the door is closed. And I open it. And I was like. What is that small bundle in my bed? And I walk over, and there's what I thought was like a, someone had put like a big pile of clothes or like some pillows or something under my bed, because I was like, and like had tucked the blanket around it, like, and I pull, like I go to shove it, it's heavy. So, oh, oh, this is a person, and I finally get the head pulled out. It's Corey. He was so drunk, he fell asleep in my bed instead of his own bed. So then when I woke him up, I was like, dude. You're in my bed. He's like, what? 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 No. <laughs> he was so drunk. What I, what me and Chris eventually pieced together was that he was trying to find his glasses, but he could never call them glasses. Various uh, the photography. I'm trying to find the photography. I'm trying Wait. to find. <laughs> I'm trying to find the state issued things for the eyes. <laughs> yeah. No. And like on and on. It's like it was, we're like. You mean your glasses? No. It's like, contacts? No. So I finally get him. I finally get him. He goes to his room. And this morning, I woke him up. And I was like, or I, I turned him up. I was like, so how you feeling? He's like, oh, that fucking red stag. <laughs> and uh, which was a theme of the night. Um, well, hold on. But, were a lot of people drinking red stag? No. It was, it was just most, Tanya It was him. me. Oh, well, but see, I was like, what? hey, try mm, this. Mm, you lied to me and said, oh, I drank all of that. She Dude, with drink. the exception he, of, like, he, 12 people having a swaller. <laughs> that's not all of it, then. And you didn't even finish the bottle. I was. At, She's a lightweight, though. I know, Bitch. I know. That's why I was moderately impressed. And yeah. then now I'm realizing, so you uh, might have drank half the bottle, which is still a good for you. It's a decent-sized bottle. I drank more than half. It doesn't well, matter. I don't, well, have to, well, anyway, I don't have to. So I, I was any, like, Corey. Anything, he, anybody. I was like, Corey, so you remember me sleeping in my bed? He's like, no, I don't remember any of that. I kind of told him, he's like, you know, it must have been my glasses because I woke up this morning and was like, oh, fuck, I need to find my glasses. But they were right there on my nightstand table. He thinks he went to bed in his room, got up, and then went and got in my bed for some reason. So, it's... Uh, he probably went to go lay down. He probably went to go lay down and, like, took off his uh, took off his glasses to lay down and then went to go do something and then walked into the wrong bedroom. And just And laid down out. and then was like, but where are my... And then his glasses weren't there. Where so are my like, spectacles? Yeah. Yes. You, you mean his state issued? I had eyes. that same issue yeah. this morning. I was like, wait, clothes are here. Where are my eyeballs? Kay found them leaving now. What are you doing? Well, you keep. I was content to just hold it. Okay. Just filling with shit over here. My, now. my microphone. I, I told stands. you you needed to adjust it. Well, you, you know oh, what? No, I'm not going to. And now we're, this, this track is probably filled with bumps. Well,. Now. I'm just gonna hold it. Well, I'm just all gonna right. hold it. So we, this is our news episode. But yeah, I fell out of the hammock. Yeah, she fell. Well, out. Yeah, so how did? Why were no, you? She in just, the, she I just, just passed out of the hammock, dude. Because like you were asleep. Really have you ever been drunk no. and laying in a hammock, bro? It's choice. The yeah, it's the best. Super choice. Unless someone comes and swings you, and then it's real not fun. Yeah. But, I why would why would anyone do that? Because it's well, because. No, well, no, because any other time she's in the hammock and I'm anywhere near the ship, swing me, swing That's me, true. swing me. So, so you're so trying to was, do the good, so good guy thing. Hump, and... She was in the hammock and I like, I swung her. I wasn't like violently swinging no. her. I swung her a little bit. She's like, oh no, you need to stop that. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I was real I, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I was real drunk. I don't want more spinny things. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, it was choice. All right. I got bit by mosquitoes. It was not great. Yeah. 
So. See, this all, all of that that you were like, oh, except nothing really happened, except blah, blah, blah. That, I feel like if you had strung those random sentences together, you would have had an interesting story you could have Derek, shared with the viewers. I'm but struggling. You're just over here just, I'm going to... Uh, uh, struggling. I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to hold it. I am just going to hold it. Yeah. I'm just going to hold this mic forever. This is just my life now. <laughs> yep. For the next 25 minutes. Yikes. <laughs> All right. So this is, this is our news episode. Um, so first off, Beard Watch... Daniel Radcliffe has grown a beard. Harry Potter beard. No, it's like damn near a Dumbledore beard. It's a fucking beard. He's coming correct with the beard action. Is he doing it for a role? Yeah, it's it? probably extension. I think so. I think he's mm. growing it for a movie. But uh, they were, I can't remember what it was. It was like some some show, like like season fin- series finale of a show or something like that. I, I read the article, but it was a show I don't watch or care about. And they were like bringing in a like a bunch like the people who had guest starred on it mm-hmm. and he was one of them so maybe not for a role maybe they just like hey come be on this real quick and he got spotted Wouldn't it be with this great beard if he's growing out this long ass beard for like he's the new headmaster of hogwarts and he's the new dumbledore with a long ass yeah, beard be. that would be fabulous let it die yeah, yeah. Be good. all right so this head headline is metallic bc Oof. Metallica yeah. ABC? Yeah. So, uh... Metal letters? Metallica is putting out a kid's book. Oh. It's, it's the ABCs of Metallica. So, November 26th, it'll be available in stores and online. So, it's going to be a rhyming illustrated history of Metallica from A to Z. <laughs> uh, but the portion of the proceeds will go to their All Within My Hands Foundation, which uh, supports workforce education and hunger issues. Hmm. Um, but here's so including rhymes and illustrations, the ABCs of Metallica looks back at the history of the band from A to Z. Each letter of the alphabet highlights a moment along the band's journey from garage days to master of puppets to fun facts about the guys. The book is co-authored by Howie Abrams and illustrations by Michael Caves McClear. N is for Napster. <laughs> oh God! Oh God. Oh God! I hope so. I hope. I hope that. My question was: Are they going to also do it in chronological order? Oh, alphabetical and tough. chronological. That would be difficult. Yeah, but well, if you could do that, I'd be impressed. Aren't they from Anaheim, California? Could be. I don't know. Started from out, California. Started out in Anaheim. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they spell California backwards. We're from. Well, I mean, I Anaheim I, begins I, I, with an A. Well, I, I don't know if they're not from Anaheim. Okay. Like maybe they're from. California, and for call. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty sure how you say California backwards. Hundred uh, percent. Considering it ended with an L, I don't think so. <laughs> well, you know, fuck you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> California correspondent. Affleck. Get get at me. Yeah. Tell yeah. tell tell him I'm right. Oh God! Don't tell. Why would you a lie like that? Uh, he a enjoyed f- our yeah. Patreon videos. He <laughs> he watched with all the snacks he sent us. He yeah. watched them. And he said it was the that Derek's reaction to the letter made it all worthwhile. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> My cats have thoroughly enjoyed those toys. I sent him yeah. a message. I was like, dude, they're great. And I have had to take them away from the cats. Because of the bells. Yes, because the bells. Fuck the bells. The bells are really annoying. I, so what you're telling me is no, you but... like cats, but you don't like any of the things that cats like to have a good life. I mean... Kind of. Oh, the cats no, are here for that's, her that's, amusement. Yes. Yeah, it's par for no. It seems legit. They get right. the toys. They just don't have them all the time. Like bedtime, when I need to go to bed, I just put them away. But they have well, them all day yeah. when I'm not there. Or when I am there and just not trying to sleep. They can have the toys. It's fine. Even though you're supposed to only let them have it under supervision. Like children. Because what if they chew the bell off and choke? Uh, I don't know, Tanya. Tell us about that. Huh. Well, it's a thing. Gotta be careful. So this headline is, Oh, beer. So, uh, you know, Venezuela's, Venezuela's economy is kind of melted down. Yes. They ain't gotten Aaron, basically. So, O, 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 comma, beer? Yeah. Or? Like, oh, like, oh, dear, but O, beer. Okay. I was just trying, trying, because I was like, is it O, O, beer? Like, O, O, beer? Like, one word? No, it's two words. Okay. O, beer. Gotcha. So, Venezuela's had a economic meltdown. Due mm-hmm. to basing their entire economy around the price of a barrel of oil, and shocker, when the price of a barrel of oil gets cut in half, 
their Bad economy is suddenly not doing very well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lesson to be learned there. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, <gasps> all my eggs were in one basket and then the snake got them. See, right there. If the, bird, if the bird had put the eggs in multiple baskets. You got to diversify with your eggs. Yeah. Well, that, that means sleep around and have multiple baby daddies. I take back what I diversify just said. Diversify with the eggs. Don't do that. Yikes. Big yikes. Keep um, going about Venezuela with also more So yikes. beer is now super expensive. How much do you think a beer in American dollars, how much a beer costs? $25. In American dollars? Yeah, in American dollars right now in oh. Venezuela on average. $100. I said twenty five. Twenty dollars. Hey. Twenty dollars a beer. Ah, uh, fuck that. I don't pay that at concerts. I mean, no. close. I get pissed but... <laughs> off. I had to pay. I had to pay seven dollars. I think for a PBR. This... At a oh, I thought once. we were talking about the ice icy again. Oh, she oh. paid seven dollars for an icy <laughs> at the theater. Yeah, I, I was happy about it too because she had to be a larger cup than I expected. Yeah, I was like, crawl hey. was great, by the way. Go see Crawl. It's the awesome. Gators they got got. Om, nom, nom. Anyway, so because of that, oh right, that's that. the, the alligator, yeah, right. alligator, the hurricane. Because they, okay, they, they Barry told... Pepper is a national treasure, and suddenly everyone in the podcast who's listening to is like, "Who's Barry Pepper?" Well, fucking look him up. You know who he is. Just everyone forgets who he is. He's a national treasure. I didn't know who he was. I either. don't think I know who he is you either. Do. He's Saving Private Ryan. He was a sniper. Um, well, then maybe I'll know. I've yeah. only seen Saving Private Ryan like once. Well, or when twice. you see a picture of Barry, Pepper. he's been in a ton of when stuff. When we're talking about movies, you know what? Never mind. Because yeah. that would. All right. So <clears> anyway, so because of because of how expensive beer is. They have switched to Kakwe, Kakui, Kakua, C O C U Y, Koko, Kokui, Kokui. You could have looked up how to say it. Oh, I could, but you, we know me. I looked up the article, looking up the pronunciation to bridge too far. If they don't put the pronunciation in the article, you know what, man, next time be like, I don't know how to say this word. Hey, Derek, how to say this word? And I'll look it up. Nope. All right. So it's called Kakwe. And it's an alcoholic beverage that was first produced by indigenous groups 500 years ago. But it's been it's been stigmatized for, like, ever as, like, moonshine for drunks and poor people. Mm -hmm. But, because beer's gotten so expensive, and also it was illegal for a long time. Mm -hmm. and like, like moonshine kind of deal. So this is kind of well, like their bathtub gin? Uh, kind of. But, so, what happened, though, was... Uh, Venezuela decided to embrace it. Like the government was like, "Oh, this is something that our nation makes." Yeah. So they made it legal and like, "Oh, hey, you know, check it out." Well, so it was the quote here is like uh, by Jonathan Yepes, uh, a mechanic, said, "We never used to drink this. We drank beer. Cokewai was for old people and grandparents, but now everyone from adolescents to adult drinks it because it's super fucking cheap." So Can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you got to get drunk somehow. Right? So, yeah. Neat. What was that face, Derek? I mean, you could just not get drunk. Your economy is in the crapper. People can't get medicine. There's riots and shit, I'm sure. You need to be drunk. You're right, and there's probably better things to do than get drunk. <laughs> I can think of literally no other better things <laughs> other than to just jump off a cliff to get drunk. So, I'm so disappointed in you right now. So here's my next little bit. This is, headline is high dollar booze. Uh, it's not like a pun or anything. It's just I couldn't think of a good pun for this. Oh, so we went from cheap booze to expensive booze. Yeah, Big polar swings. opposite. Big swings. So according to police, the man came into this restaurant in Hawaii through the kitchen door, uh, basically ran in, grabbed two bottles of Remy Martin Louis the Thirteenth cognac, mm -hmm. which are priced at more than six thousand dollars each mm -hmm. from behind the restaurant's bar, and broke five hundred dollars worth of liquor getting it because he like he snatched yeah, him and knocked it. some liquor over, and then yeah dipped. Oh, that's and clever. has not been caught. But here's the thing: six thousand dollar bottle of liquor. That shit's going to be behind glass. It's going to be locked away. You need it's a manager gonna, to unlock. It's not that going for to be you. sitting out on the fucking shelf like that. Like fuck me. Like God. Like, yeah, that's ridiculous. You need to Walmart that shit where you have to have you have to page somebody to come over with a key unlock to unlock it. the case, yeah. and yeah. then inside the case, it's in another case that the cashier has to unlock for you. Like, yeah, oh my God. Double I mean, layers of security. Ugh. Like a shot of that's got to be well over a hundred dollars. You know. And you know what? I bet it just tastes like liquor. You know, I've never had cognac. Uh, have, I have. Probably have, but... Isn't Hennessy a cognac? Yeah. Yeah, I've had Hennessy. You've had Hennessy. I had Hennessy at your house. 
Did you not have any of that? I don't think so. He wouldn't oh. remember. Yeah. Yeah. I, you were deep in that heaven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And really, what's I mean, if you have heaven, why, why would, would you be you drink drinking cognac? Yeah. Oh my God. You mm. know why? Why would you drink Hennessy when you can have heaven hell? Two double the H's. Hmm. <laughs> Two times the Two H's. Times the H's. Woo! He's wild. Okay. So uh, this. Okay. Uh, this so, headline is "Oh Lord, Tariff News." Lord, oh Lord, Tariff News. So, um, there's a proposed twenty five percent tariff that's going to apply to all books. What? From China. Oh. Like book, like but, in the trade war with China. Hmm. So, but you're thinking, oh, okay, that's probably not going to really. They probably do much. a lot of printing over there. Okay, but what do you what do you reckon they're printing a lot of over there? Mangas and the animes. No. Really? No, smuts? Well, I mean, they may, but no. I mean, like the, but you see, we have we have printers over yeah. here oh, yeah. too. So well, then I don't. Um, th- those are all of my guesses. Um, but the manga would be printed in Japan mostly. Uh, mm. Um, no, Bibles. LOL. They print. Uh, all right. So here, so it, the twenty five percent tariff would disproportionately affect Bibles and children's books. Both tend to have specialized printing requirements that Chinese printers are set up to meet, while most domestic printers are not. Kid books are printed on, like, cardboard, so I can see that. Yeah. So Stan Jantz, president and CEO of the Evangelical Christian Publishers Association, said in a phone interview that over half of worldwide Bible production takes place in China. Wow. And the tariff would hurt organizations that give away Bibles and also make it difficult for publishers to sell the Bible at a price people can afford, he said. Because hmm. the Bible is the most purchased book in America every year. Yeah. Like yeah. It sells more more copies than anything. Which kind of confuses me because once you have one copy, you kind of don't need another copy because it doesn't change. Oh, no there's, no, no. there's tons of translations. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I, I when I had Bibles, I had, that was my brain just going wait. Well, okay. I mean, oh, let's let's all right. The, so, okay. Hell, I've got three of them at the house. So I had I had three. I had my Book of Mormon Bible, which yeah. is it's a King James version of the Bible, but it also has the Book of Mormon attached. Yeah. I had a. Do they put King, it like at the beginning or the end, or does it fit in somewhere? It's, it's a separate book at the end, kind of deal. Okay. And an I was just curious an, as to where it was. Put. Um, it's an addendum. So, mm. but I had for when I was doing. Uh, early Christian studies in college, I had a uh, NIV. Mm-hmm. It's a more, right, right. more accurate translation. Because, and here's for all you linguistic translation nerds, here's why. Big fan. Um, the King James Version of the Bible uh, had an agenda. and they, Shocked. They, rather than translate some words, they transliterated some mm. words. So the word baptism. In Greek, it's baptismo, yes. which means... To submerge, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, Anglicans don't submerge for baptisms. They, they sprinkle. They, they sprinkle. So instead of translating baptism, they transliterated it. Or instead of translating baptism, they just transliterated it to baptism so they could have it mean what they wanted it to mean. Hmm. So then they, so there's stuff like that in, in there. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Then I guess you could have multiple versions. It's not yeah. like the story and really and so, changes. But then they also have like some like for uh, like designed for kids that are like very easy and like people yeah, who are not I like solid I think I remember readers. had like a little some with pictures kids yeah. like a learner bible. Yeah, so there had some like pictures there's, and there's some you can get that have like a real uh, in depth like footnotes of from scholars to explain. Yeah passages mm-hmm. and things like that oh yeah me i hated going to church it was so boring but i would sit there and uh i at the back of my bible i had a bible dictionary and i would just read like just definitions definitions of stuff that's how i passed time i wrote stories um Crossing so my last bit of news candy. this is something to be mad about and mad is in all caps mad oh i know where that i know this episode mad or, magazine yeah is this he gone more or less gone so, uh, 67 years it's been going. 67 years. This is like, a, wasn't it a weekly publication? Uh, monthly, mm. I believe. Um, so after October, it will cease with, uh, new episodes, basically. So after this fall, the magazine will no longer produce new content except for an end of year special. And basically, so everything they put out is going to be, they're just going to go through their almost 70 years of material and just 
post. We're getting the reruns. Yeah, and it's going to be like quarterly. They're, they're I think. going into um, syndication. There you go. Yeah. I was yeah. trying to think of the word. I couldn't. Yeah. So nope. it's it. It's I know for some people that's probably super sad. It's not really that sad for me because Mad was never an integral part of my life. I I've read like three Mad magazines in my life. Um, never read it. I mean, it was it's kind of cool. Um, but eh. me. But I know for some people it's like, oh, it's the end of a fucking era. I mean, it is. Yeah. It's, it, would be, it would be the same thing if, like, Saturday Night Live was like, all right, well, we're done here. Yeah. It's, you know, not something I it, watch on kinda, a weekly basis, but it's still kind of like, oh, well, that's well, a thing very, that's been around for a while. very similar thing. Like, it's Saturday Night Live, a lot of it is just straight comedy, but then a lot of it is, like, satirical, you know. Topical, topical. poignant time things. Yeah. And that's how Mad was. Mad yeah. had a lot of stuff that was just, like, silly Silly stuff, but then a lot of satire in there mm-hmm. as well. So, womp womp womp. Alf, what's the name? Alfred Newman. Is that the mm. the the face of it? The, oh, that, that guy freckle with freckle-headed like, kid. Yeah, freckle-headed kid with the like big teeth. I think yeah. he they prefer freckled fella. That's why I prefer for the That's a freckled fella. Yeah, I prefer that. I think that's just where you have a spotty tan at this point, because <laughs> all of your freckles are just kind of. <laughs> mushing together you just have I'm a trying, I'm tan. trying I'm trying to connect all the freckles I would if man if all my freckles connected uh Maybe. I'd have a real dark tan just hang that one arm out the car more how you're either gonna how can get, you do it more he's gonna get skin cancer or your freckles will connect Rude. probably it's one of the two options I didn't say I wished him skin cancer I said you're gonna get that or you put it out into the universe yeah. mm. so got a got a new uh item from Rianco oh did week. you yeah what'd you get um, the Rianco DNA Dart Kit. Ooh. Rut row. Yeah. Okay. Is it kind of so, like Ancestry and... Well, so here it is. Okay. New from Rianco is the DNA Dart Kit. This one-shot, one-use pistol-based system fires a dart at your target with a range of up to 30 meters. Ooh. As the dart strikes, its two-fold injection system sends a wave of calming heavy-duty tranquilizers. Nice. <laughs> at the same time, it extracts a sizable DNA sample. Just drop it in the pre-prepared package and mail it off to Rianco state-of-the-art DNA testing facility and have all your DNA questions answered. Ooh, I love it. Um, they did say that they uh, reserve the right to do anything with that DNA sample that they choose, yeah. anything from cloning. Don't they make cloning? Is well, that they, they, different, they do, they do really? have a bit of cloning going on. Um, it's just no different than, like, 23andMe and all those. Like, yeah. I mean, they do what they do testing and stuff with exactly. it. Exactly. So. Exactly. It's basically the same thing. No, um, but yeah, so yeah. you got a baby daddy who won't give up that DNA sample for the courts. Pow. Pow, pow. Pop, pop. Is this person really my mom? Yeah. Pew. Fucking shoot your mom. And the thing is, they can't fight back because they've been tranked. Then he can run away. Is this kind of getting into Me Too territory? Well, this is, this, this, yes. But here's the thing. It's Ranko. You can't afford to sue them. It's true. It's also, it's they're it's slogan. it's Ranco. I mean, they would yeah. never do anything against everyone's best no, job. Yeah, best no, they definitely have uh, everyone's best interests at heart. It's Ranco. 100%. Yeah. How's your niece doing with her robo arms and baseball with the JV league? Uh, I have, it's my niece, so I don't keep up with her. Oh yeah, that's right. She yeah. does, she's hasn't reached eighteen and hasn't gotten a name. She's God, not a full fledged human yet. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. And really, like, I'm really waiting on my niece and nephew to be twenty one. So that's they can much have, less creepy. Can have a drink, honestly. With me. Okay, yeah, twenty one. So yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, th- yeah, because yeah. I'm like, I'm waiting for, I've, I'm waiting for my niche to be eighteen. Like, like we are in Alabama. We are in Alabama. Oh, like, I don't on, mean bro. like that. I just mean well, you don't mean. Intent is one thing, and how it lands is another. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe that says something about us. That that's immediately what we thought. But... Right. No, I was with you there. I was with you, Derek. I was like, well, yikes, big well, yikes. The, the last yikes. time he mentioned that, I did the same thing. I did. I, went, I just had this look on my face. I was like, why are we... Men-? But then he immediately mentioned, because they're not real people until they're... Like, yeah. Oh, I was like, where are we going with this? Bomb? Yeah. I feel like my I feel like my stance is probably a lot more valid, like in the 1800s, when it was like iffy that they would live to eight, be 18. But this day in age in America, like if they make it out of the hospital, they're probably going to make it to 18. I kind of feel like you could really realistically drop the age to like 16. When they're old enough to drive me to the liquor store. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a valid point. Because, I mean, when did you start drinking? In your teens. 14. Yeah. I started drinking at, like, fit- well, Derek, you're a nerd. <laughs> Rules nerd. <laughs> like, I started drinking at 16, 17. Yeah. So, yeah, in 16, they can... Hmm. Hi, niece and nephew. Drive me to the liquor store. And then Post-haste. I'll give you a mini. Yeah. 
You can't come in with me, but I will Snapchat you come, the, the decisions. Come pick me up from the bar. Save oh. me an Uber. <laughs> yes. Don't, I am helping don't. my niece and this or nephew practice driving. This is the first, this is the first party I've ever had that people had to Uber away from. Bruh, I was uh, close. There were, there were, there were, there were some people that I probably should have before. Well, we couldn't before well, she lived out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 before and before that one was before Uber wasn't a thing. Really, yeah, at, at that, that point, point, not really. So this is my first party where people like I had someone Uber here and then Uber away, and then another person Ubered away. Seems yeah. legit. Yeah. Hey, I I thought about doing it because well, I was I, like, hey, because when you're when it was gonna start earlier, I was like, all right, I'm gonna come, and I'm gonna get mildly shitty. And then I'm going to Uber to Prattville and go to work work for three hours and then just Uber back and just catch up. But, you know, the party started later. So I was like, all right, I don't have to do that because that would have been expensive. Also bad because drunk at work. Mm. Yes. Probably. (laughs) My job satisfaction would go up tremendously if I was allowed to drink like three beers every shift. When I had that job, just get a little buzz going, just kind of take the edge off. Yeah, yeah. I not, a, not drunk, just just take the edge off. Yeah. No, I had a job at TQL. It's a like dispatcher, customer service, cold calling, basically. Right. Oof. But they didn't tell me it was cold calling until I moved all the way down, and they were like, "Ah, oh, psych." By bitch. the way, uh, make a hundred cold calls a day, or get fired. I got fired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they would like, here's a Red Bull and a beer. I was like, yes. This job can keep being great until it started sucking. But yeah. that was great. You got to drink on the job. And play well, like what size beer are we talking about? I mean, here? regular beers. That's ridiculous. A, a what kind of beer? Regular. Mm. But it was free beer. What kind of beer? Best beer. Um, they had, beer. Yeah, but yeah, 100%. Well, they mm-hmm. had like Bud Light, yada, yada, yada. So I picked a Miller Light because that was an option. Anytime that was an option, I picked it. All right. What's your Miller? You can, For the rest of your life, you can only have Miller products or Bud products. What do you go with? Um, which one is Coors? Miller? Miller. Mm-hmm. Probably. Mm, who is Dos Equis? I don't know. Mm, Independiente. M- Modelo. Um, yeah, I don't know any of those. I don't know who does um, any of those. I like Platinum well yeah. enough, though. I'd, I'm a, I'd go Bud. Like, <sighs> High Life is Miller, but most of What's the What's Keystone? Uh undrinkable swill how dare you i think you meant smooth smooth exactly it's Mm. in the commercial it says it's super smooth Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right well y'all be thinking about that let us know if you could only pick one producer miller or bud miller who would it be i'm i'm curious now that i thought about it like if you could only drink a single type of beer what would it be okay we'll see like a brand yeah well because like for example my favorite is probably dos equis yeah. Like regular or I had, whatever. I had Lightning Kugel Summer Shandy last night mm-hmm. when I was drinking. That was so good. I know you you always say that's, that's good. That's a Miller distributed. It was, stu- it was stupid good. I think. Um, but it was good then, but if it was the only thing I could drink for the rest of my life, I don't think I'd think well, I no, I just I mean I'd get only, sick of it. I just mean yeah. the only beer you're allowed to yeah. drink. Like if you could. I'm just curious as to what people's favorite. Probably a Bud Platinum, most, honestly. <laughs> probably. So, or something like that just because it's high gravity. It'd have to be something high gravity. Because if I, uh, it's easier to get drunk. Yeah. So, all right. Make let us ultra. know. Let us know what you think. Mick Mick ultra is good, like but that's a bud. Ultra. That's a bud yeah. product. Yeah, I mean that would be probably. Um, I do like a Mick Ultra. ultra. Um, all right. So, in the coming week, as the air mattress <laughs> of your of your week is beneath you, I hope that it stays inflated, that it doesn't deflate on you in your sleep like mine does. And may the blessing of the beard be upon you. Woo-hoo. Thanks for listening to this episode of Books, Beards, Booze. Our co-hosts are Bob, Derek, and Tanya. Our producer is Bob. For more information, visit our website, booksbeardsbooze.com. Follow our social media at Tales by Bob. If you enjoyed this podcast, please rate, subscribe, and share. Okay, bye.